Nikola Tesla, Vortex Math. In Vortex Math, everything adds to 9, 3 and 6, polarize everything, and 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5, describe the physical world, therefore, 3, 6 and 9 are not physical, but govern the physical world at the quantum level. This is most easily understood by examining sound, where different sounds exist at different frequencies, or vibrations, and the understanding that all things living are vibrational, eight-dimensional. Vibrational frequency is the key to understanding the universe. If you are more than a third-dimensional thinker, wanting to involve yourself on the lower levels, through world conflicts, fear television, hell lie vision and all the other fear propaganda designed to have you scared and ready to take up arms and sit in a panicked state waiting thinking of nothing but the worst possible outcomes everything is energy everything we can see hear touch taste and smell is made of different wavelengths vibrating at different frequencies our brain is like a translator that has the ability to interpret these frequencies into what we perceive to be our physical reality. So we interpret an energy cluster as a chair, or a tree, or another person. We perceive them as physical or solid, but break them down to their smallest particles, and they're all just energy. There are non-physical energies as well, of course. Our thoughts, for example, are just different vibrations. Every time you think a thought, you send out that thought's specific vibration. If a thought makes you feel good, if it's a positive thought, it is vibrating at a higher frequency. If a thought makes you feel bad, if it's a negative thought, it's vibrating at a lower frequency. So, I hate you has a much lower frequency than I love you, for example. The more focus you give to a thought, the more thoughts of the same vibration will join it. This is the law of attraction in action, like attracts like. As the vibration grows, it becomes stronger, more stable, more able to attract other, equal frequencies. The more attention you pay to a subject, the easier it becomes to think about it, and the more evidence you see in your world supporting your thoughts about it. If you think the world is a terrible place, and spend a lot of time watching negative news, looking for horrible, sad stories in the paper, and spending hours, talking to others, about how the world is going downhill, more stories supporting this worldview, will literally find you. Whenever you meet someone, who thinks the world is a wonderful place, they're probably going to annoy you, the energy of their thoughts is completely foreign to you, eight-dimensional.